As we first started this challenge, we took different roles. Goose decided that he was going to go off and collect resources at the very beginning, some wood, etc. I was going to start outlining our chunk so we knew where we were supposed to dig. I had to go get some wood so I could craft some wooden tools and eventually stone tools while he was still gathering these resources. After a quick craft, I got back over to our chunk and I started working on the perimeter. Here's a quick little sped up version of that for you. Goose eventually came back and had some thank stone you, you. tools for me. This really accelerated our process out of the wooden age into the stone age. Are you do you're doing the border? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep making some stuff. Perfect. I then spent the next 40 minutes digging this chunk out. This is where we really started to fall into a rhythm. While Goose was down mining iron and other resources, I was up mining this chunk out and feeling good. Then we discovered something. And what we discovered, it was crazy. What we discovered was a huge cave right next to the chunk that we had been digging. We decided that it would probably be worth it to abandon Chunk and start over almost an entire hour into the challenge. This was a hard decision to make, but it was one that we were confident in. So we got to the new Chunk and we started mining again. Once we got back up to the surface, we grabbed all of our necessities, all of our stone pickaxes, and we made way to our new Chunk location. Goose went back down underneath the earth and we lined up our coordinates so I could start on the new perimeter. This was a big gamble for us and we were really hoping that it would pay off. And we didn't want to waste our first hour for no reason. As we dug and dug and dug, we were starting to doubt ourselves. But eventually, we got to a point where you could see that it was all worth it. Once we spent about another 40 minutes digging, we could see the opening of the cave underneath the layer that we were on. That's when we knew we made the right decision. While Goose went down, I made sure to make all of our materials that we would need so that we wouldn't have to make any unnecessary trips up to the surface. And then I had to jump in. Oh, I'm gonna die. Nope. All right, I'm good. <laughs> it was close. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the water bucket. It was close. Once we were inside the hole, I took it upon myself to build a perimeter to keep us safe. And I may have had a stupid death here. Whoops. Oh. That out of the way, we were able to keep digging and keep digging. We kept the separated strategy alive while Goose went underneath, still continuously collecting iron and other resources to help us mine faster. I stayed on the top layer, making sure we got rid of everything. But at a certain point, I had to make it all the way back up to the surface so I could gather more wood and more materials so we could keep crafting our chests, crafting tables, and sticks to keep our inventories full. Once I made it back to our hole, I was able to tower up and finish the chunk that was left on the surface area so I could meet Goose down at the bottom and mine the deep slate with him. It took me just a couple minutes, but once I got there, I knew it was time to shine. Here's the last few blocks of our top layer where I was really excited to get this done with. This is the first moment I really felt like we were close to the end here. Sweet relief. Once I made it back down to the bottom where Goose was, he loaded me up with goodies, iron and gold pickaxes so I could mine that deep slate faster. I continued counting out the perimeter and got it all dug out so we knew where we were supposed to be. And after we got this perimeter dug was the first place we really had a change in game plan. I decided that I was gonna staircase downwards and start digging straight up and straight down while Goose would continue to take it layer by layer. This worked symbiotically because as I was going up and down, he had less and less surface area to dig. We were really happy with the way that this strategy worked out for us, 
and maybe we'll do it again in the future if we have to. We won't, right? with any oh, musician oh, 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 oh. sorry diamonds do what you find yeah diamonds. buddy buddy nice. took long enough i found eight found eight diamonds eight diamonds i found an wow. eight wow lucky finding these diamonds was some of the motivation we needed to really get back on the ball and not feel discouraged we knew at this point that we were almost halfway, if not a little further than halfway done, and these diamond pickaxes would really help us along the way where this iron started to really feel slow. Crafting these diamonds into diamond pickaxes felt awesome. While I was doing that, I went ahead and I made the rest of my iron into iron pickaxes as well to try to optimize some time. Throwing that diamond pickaxe to Goose really felt awesome. This is what really felt like the first step to the finish line. There's really not a ton of other content to show you over the next like two hours of time lapse. So I thought I would take this moment to thank my friends and the community that has surrounded me through my YouTube journey so far. I've really had a blast and it wouldn't be possible to do this kind of thing without friends that I've made along the way like Goose. So please check him out Check out all the other people I've collaborated with and will in the future. I've really enjoyed the friendships I've made along the way. And you guys can expect more fun content, whether it's my Let's Play series or other crazy world record kind of things like this. We wouldn't be where we are without you, and I mean that. So thank you. If you're interested, you can also join the Discord. It'll be the first link in my description. That's where I get to talk and hang out with all of you guys and make awesome plans like this. As we started getting closer and closer to the end of this, we started looking in all the pockets of bedrock to make sure that we didn't miss any blocks. We wanted this to be able to be verified. It would be terrible to have wasted five hours. Goose and I decided that it would be fun if we mined the last block together. So I'm gonna go ahead and let previous us, while we were doing this, recite our joy. Count of whatever. Three, two, one. Hey! Yeah. We did it! <laughs> oh, horrible. Yeah, that was tough. That was fun. That was cool. 510 something. So. All right. Oh, F3. Oh, yeah. F3. Oh, slash seed. Okay. I'm stopping mine too. Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> the bird boys. Hell yeah. Oh, I killed you. <laughs> All right, guys, and here's our statistics page. I mined 5,284 stone, 4,837 deep slate, 952 dirt, 695 grass blocks, while Goose mined 6,889 deep slate, 2,696 stone, 367 dirt, and 203 grass blocks. This gives us a total of 11,726 deep slate, and 7,980 stone in between the two of us. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know we joked about it earlier, but if you did enjoy it, a like, a sub would be very appreciated. I couldn't have done this without my buddy Goose, so please check him out, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.